Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbigly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbigly, and I'm once again playing another random one shot from over here on lag.com. This is a game called Bottle Flip 3D, and in this we have to just tap the screen and make a little bottle, flip around, and land on a number of different things trying to get to a goal. You guys will see exactly what I mean here in a second, but it looks like a fun little arcade game. You guys know that I love these arcade style games. Very excited to play this one. I like any game with the bottle flipping stuff. It just seems super fun as like a mechanic to implement. But anyway, let's go ahead. Let's click play. See what this is all about. So it says to tap the screen. Oh, I got little helpful arrows also telling me like the arc the bottle's gonna take. So this is just like a nice little tutorial stage. Nice, okay, so we jumped on a bunch of shelves, got ourselves over to the goal. So, boom. Oh, okay, that turned on the TV. Boom, and then that X I'm assuming means click again, and oh yeah, okay. So you can double jump in this. Okay, that's awesome. That's really cool. So here we go, oh, oh whoa, that was crazy. All right, so some of the shelves, the different colored shelves are gonna start sort of like leaning over a little bit and they're gonna make me a little bit nervous because it means that I'm gonna start sliding down them. Oh my God, <laughs> that landing, that is perched so precariously. Uh oh, okay, all right. So that was another one of those and then we need to double jump and got our way through the next level. So we're getting 100 coins every time we beat one of these. I wonder what that's for. Oh, there's a little bit of music. Oh, we're on a speaker, that's why. And we need 500 coins. Oh, we have 500 coins. Heck yeah, so we just unlocked this special kind of bottle, whatever this is, looks like bougie water. Okay, turn on the TV, more tunes. Okay, and then that's gonna, oh, oh my God, all right, I was not ready for that at all. All right, apparently there's different types of uh, picture frames and some of them will tilt the other way and send you back towards the entrance or the beginning of the, oh, okay, whoa, toasters. Toasters make you auto jump when you hit them. So there's a lot of obstacles in this game. There's a lot of different interactable environments as well. This is really cool, I like this. I also like that when you die, it doesn't, oh, did that count? Wait, it says replay and I fell off the, oh no, okay. It was a psych me out. So you can touch it and activate the goal, but it doesn't mean that you've won. You have to land it. You have to land it. That's the whole purpose of the bottle flip challenge is you gotta land it. Uh, but I, what I was gonna say is I like that when you die, it doesn't, wow, that sent me for a trip. Uh, it doesn't like randomize the level or anything like that. I don't know if these levels are randomized at all, um, but I like that it keeps it the same layout as the level you just faced so that it sort of, uh, I love those toasters. Uh, it sort of like gives you the ability to learn as a player and uh, hopefully get better and conquer more and more of this game. So we have, wait, we have 600 coins. That should be enough. Oh, they go up in price. Okay, so what do, what do we have here? This looks like a sports drink or something. This says yo on it. I don't know what that is. Just a regular water bottle from like any store. Uh, there's like a Coca-Cola bottle. There is a wine bottle. There is a fancy booze bottle or something. I don't know what that is. And an even fancier booze bottle for 4,000 coins. Oh my gosh. There's so They cost a lot. Okay, that's fine. We're going to move on. We're on level 11 now. Oh my God. Okay. I. So if you land right on the edge of something, sometimes what will happen is you'll actually like fall off the edge of it. You'll start leaning. Uh oh. Oh, like that. Okay. So the back of that couch is slanted and that makes you slide. Okay. So there is so much challenge in this game beyond what it looks like so there that time i landed right on the the middle flat part of that couch that's what you want to aim for so a lot of this is anticipating when your second click is going to be or even if you like need a second click that one i don't know how i got away with either of those jumps right there the fridge and then to the cabinets up there i was like right on the edge i sort of like sliding off the side a little bit and i just had that quick reaction time oh no <laughs> uh, i was betrayed by the fridge it was like i'll let you off easy last time now now you faced my true might which is just like being really big and in the way uh, <laughs> this is so cool oh my god all right so this is very cool i like this game a lot uh oh oh my god i barely saved myself there that was wild oh Slipped off the side of the uh, the microwave there, so you'll see. You get sort of slippery. Oh, whoa, holy cow, toasters. Send me to the goal, thank you. I didn't even have to do anything. I just like, okay, uh-oh, uh-oh. Wait, 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 what do you do here? 
How do you get that jump? That's too long. Do you go to the shelves above? Wait, first, important thing. First things first, unlocking the sports drink bottle. All right, we're now at sports drink. Oh, yeah. Okay, so if you click fast enough, you can get uh, up to these shelves. And did you notice that, guys? My bottle sort of tilted over. It fell on its side. But then, even though it was on its side, I was able to flip right side up. This is a magic bottle. Oh, my gosh. Not magic enough, though. Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh, oh, no. I thought I had enough juice. I thought I had enough juice. Oh, no, and I forgot to click again. I thought I had enough juice to make it. I did not have enough juice to make it to the speaker. There we go. Can I make it? Yes. Okay. 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 It's so hard to tell. Oh, no. Oh, this is a level that psychs you out so bad. So in the beginning, you have to make sure you double clip, click to the higher level. Here, I should have, like, fallen down onto that plant below me, I think, to get to this. Otherwise, I end up on Grandfather Clock with nowhere to go because you can't go backwards in the game. So that I did 117% of the level. Yeah, I did. I went above and beyond. Oh, no. I've doomed myself again. Oh, darn it. That's fine. That's fine. Now we know a little bit better about what we're doing or not at all. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. We will now know better. Oh, okay. That's fine. We made it to the cabinets. Maybe this will be an easy... Oh, my God. That is as much on the lip as you could be of that plant. That is a very sturdy, hardy plant. Whoever's taking care of that plant, thank you so much because you are the reason that I survived there. I got overzealous and double jumped when I probably should have only single jumped. That's fine. That's fine. That is fine. Okay, sometimes you can like wait out the jump and like you can either jump at the top of your arc So you get like the max height or if you want that max distance and also the ability to potentially oh my gosh <laughs> uh, Get to something that you might not have been able to get to before uh, You can really time it to the ending of the jumps man Those are like spaced apart perfectly to screw with me, but that's fine. We got past it. We got past it Got past another level. We're heading to level 20 in a second. Uh-oh. Okay. So there. Yeah, that one you had to, like, jump immediately. This game is not taking it. Oh, no! I didn't want to... Oh, it did count as completing. Thank goodness. I was going to say, I was trying to click to jump over it, but it wasn't letting me. Okay. Glad that me and the game are on the same page. Now we're past level 20. Now we're on level 21. Now we're... We're in the big leagues, really, is what it is. I feel like this is me. This is me finding my element, getting used to the gameplay mechanics. I thought I jumped a little bit too far that time. I wish that you could control the distance of your jump, but that's the whole fun of it. That's the whole challenge is you figure out how to do that. Simply, oh my gosh, dude. Uh, simply by playing and then hoping that the arc that your bottle is traveling on is going to help you with the right distance that you need holy cow holy cow oh my gosh all right landed in the chair bop 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 double jump all right that's gonna lean that way and then those little chairs there waiting for me giving me a little bit of a rest that's the way that i'm gonna look at them they gave me a little bit of a rest after my tough journey through heck oh my gosh this is this is tough all right this is tough Okay, there we go. Yeah, just got to do that rapid jump. If you don't want to go far, but you want to land on something close to you, then <laughs> then you want to jump right away. So, like, maybe, maybe I should be using that mechanic more often. Nope, never mind. I should probably stick to what I know, which is this, this, this. Okay. Oh, man, oh, man. This is getting, this is getting white knuckle. This is getting real intense here. This is getting... Oh, it's... I see what it's trying to do. It's trying to psych me out. Oh, my gosh. It almost did, too. It almost did, but I used my noggin. I eyeballed that really well, and I, I kept my cool. I didn't get too psyched out by it at all, although there was definitely a little bit of psychological uh, pressure going on there. No! Oh, I clicked too much. I clicked too much. Oh, my gosh. That one's so tough, man. That one is a hard one. Okay. But not so hard that I can't beat it. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah. All right. Gosh. Who is hanging up all the pictures? It's this. If it's the same person who takes really good care of their plant, uh, I have some questions. Because even though you took such good care of your plant, you hung up all these picture frames like a doofus. 
and it doesn't work very well for you. Okay, I should have held off on my second jump a little bit longer on that one. That's okay. Understandable. Like that. Yeah. Okay. We're doing it. We're figuring it out. Boom. Okay, thank you. Tilty picture frame that time. So we have 1,400 coins. All right. I think this level, level uh, 29, heading into level 30, might be my last one because, oh my gosh, I should not be alive, but I am. Because that will allow me to unlock yet another water bottle, the one that says yo, for whatever reason. We have our yo water bottle. You know, I'm just going to do it. I feel like this is a bonus level that the uh, the creator put in to make you feel good after getting through all those hard levels. You get to complete level 30 without even thinking. Very good stuff. But anyway, guys, that's all the time I have for this game today. It was a lot of fun. You guys can obviously see the amount of challenge that goes into it. You can see the rewards for grinding out those coins and getting those new water bottle skins. Really cool stuff. I like this game a lot. It's fast. It's easy. It puts you right back in if you lose. And it's just one of those types of games that's good arcadey fun. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed my video, please, please, please check this game out over here on lag.com. And as always, it was great seeing you. Goodbye.